Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On the 1st of September 1945, in Montreal, Canada, the headquarters of the St. Lawrence Mission was dedicated. In November 1944, the Canadian Union Conference had taken an important step, organizing a new mission to work for the French-speaking people of Eastern Canada. Up to that point, Adventism had chiefly spread among English, German, and Russian-speaking Canadians. The first superintendent of the St. Lawrence Mission was André Lecoult, a French-speaking Swiss missionary to Canada who was editor of the church's French-language magazine, Le Messager. On September 4, 1950, Dr. William A. George died at the age of 84. George was a huge influence on Adventist medical missionary work in the first third of the 20th century. A graduate of Battle Creek College and the University of Michigan Medical School, George served on the faculty of Battle Creek College and then of the American Medical Missionary College, the first Adventist medical school. When it opened in Battle Creek on October 1st, 1895, Dr. George taught the very first class. In 1901, he and his wife Lyra, who was also a medical doctor, moved to the Nebraska Sanitarium at College View, where they served for six years. In 1907, George was called to be medical superintendent of the Nashville Sanitarium in Tennessee, a post he filled for four years. But in 1911, Dr. George was called to Loma Linda to be head surgeon at the sanitarium and to teach anatomy in the College of Medical Evangelists Medical School. He worked at Loma Linda for the next 23 years. During this time, he was ordained and conducted several evangelistic campaigns. He also, for many years, chaired the general conferences Medical Missionary Council, which gave direction to the church's medical work all around the world. He died in Loma Linda, to which he had devoted so much of his career. That was this week in Adventist history.